Hi Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for August 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest, you're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest in this relationship. Or Taurus, you're looking at your coins, and you may be waiting on coins. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. Now, Taurus, listen, you may have the spark of a new idea or initiating here something to maybe increase your finances here, okay? Taurus, you may be looking at your coins and you might want to do something with those coins, initiate something here. Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're contemplating on whether or not you care to continue to invest in this relationship and start a new beginning with this partner or you're waiting before you start a new beginning, okay? Maybe waiting to see if we're going to. Taurus, you have the tower, the tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So Taurus, listen. Very well could be some type of shocking surprise here. Could be a shocking revelation or some type of breakup. Clarify the tower. For Taurus, clarify the tower. For Taurus, clarify the tower. For Taurus, it is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. 
However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing these emotions. They're masking these emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, could be dealing with the parent of your child because it's a nurturing father figure here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups. But Taurus, it is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Destiny. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aquarius, but listen, you can tell me that it was some type of shocking revelation or a breakup and you're trying to heal individually on your own. You can tell me you still care about this person, have a great deal of love for this person, and you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out. Taurus, it could be some type of shocking surprise of you getting your wish here, but you're trying to master your emotions concerning it and just really looking over this money. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Taurus, listen, it very well could have been some type of shocking revelation and a breakup taking place here. And you're trying to heal individually on your own. And maybe you're trying to wait before you start a passionate new beginning somewhere else. Taurus, you have the six of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know... I just needed some time to heal here, okay? I'm meditating on it. Maybe we can salvage this and put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or you're telling me, hey, I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, you're either telling me that, hey, you know, my guard is up. I don't trust this. I just want to move away from the relationship. Or you're telling me that, hey, I'm going to be persistent here. I want us to put it behind us. I'm just waiting to see if we're going to start this passionate new beginning. Taurus, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but Taurus, you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching here, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you, Taurus. This is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. Taurus, listen. I feel like you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching because this situation is burdensome, Taurus. Mm -hmm. 
And you could even be thinking about just releasing it all together, Taurus. Taurus. You have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you're breaking up. You're trying to heal here. You're moving out, moving on. You don't trust. It's something so burdensome that was heavy on your mind and you thought about it. And Taurus, you're telling me that, hey, I'm trying to manifest maybe someone else. But you're waiting and putting some time between you breaking up with someone and starting something new. with a Because you don't want it to be a third person trying to manifest, you know, another relationship. But try not to make it be a third person because you're putting some space here. Taurus, listen. <laughs> Is this water sign your destiny? Is this person your wish? You guys broke up and all you could think about, you're meditating on this person here. Are you going to be persistent because you want you guys to put whatever happened behind you, Taurus? You thought about it and you just really want to release this burden. Is it that you're wanting to reunite with this person here? Because this person is your destiny, your wish here. And you're just waiting, okay? Waiting here. Because you do want to start this passionate new beginning and reunite with this person. Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for August 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.